New matches have been added to the WrestleMania 39 lineup. Jey Uso turns on Sami Zayn on WWE Raw. And we now know when WWE will be returning to Saudi Arabia. As you know, WWE WrestleMania is taking place on Saturday, April 1st and Sunday, April 2nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on both Peacock and WWE Network. Matches that had already been announced included the undisputed WWE Universal Championship between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, the SmackDown Women's Championship, Rhea Ripley challenging Charlotte Flair, the Raw Women's Championship, Bianca Belair defending her title against Asuka, and Brock Lesnar vs. Omas. However, three more matches were added on Raw last night. Wrestling for the first time since SummerSlam of August 2019, Hall of Famer Trish Stratus will team up with the women's tag team champions Becky Lynch and fellow Hall of Famer Lita against Damage Control's Bayley, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky at WrestleMania. The groundwork for the match was laid out on last week's Raw, when Trish Stratus helped out Becky Lynch and Lita win the tag team titles from Dakota Kai and Io Sky. On this week's Raw, Trish Stratus issued a challenge to damage control on her team's behalf, and Bailey accepted for her side. After a face-to-face -face segment on Monday's Raw, Logan Paul vs. Seth Rollins one-on-one -on -one was officially announced for WrestleMania 39. The Miz, who's the WrestleMania host, held a face-to-face -face between Seth Rollins and Logan Paul, egging both guys on. After Rollins suggested the match for Raw, Logan Paul said that he is a premium attraction and would only wrestle on a bigger stage with a bigger payday. The segment ended with Logan Paul laying out Seth Rollins with a stomp. Austin Theory and John Cena are set to square off at WrestleMania. Also on Raw, Austin Theory confronted John Cena, issuing the challenge for the United States Championship. Cena initially rejected the offer, saying that Theory wasn't ready. Theory accused Cena of giving up, referencing his t-shirt. Cena said he'd never give up on the fans, saying he said no because Theory would lose everything if he lost at WrestleMania. Cena then asked the crowd if they wanted to see the match, and after the positive reaction, he agreed to the match for April. The segment ended with John Cena telling Theory he wished him luck because Theory doesn't have the brains, the guts, or the balls, smacking him low before leaving. And on this upcoming episode of Friday Night SmackDown, we will find out who will face Gunther. Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Kofi Kingston, Ali Knight, and Karrion Cross will all wrestle in a fatal five-way in Pittsburgh this Friday, and the winner of the match will get the next shot at Gunther's Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. And Jey Uso has finally made a choice, but it wasn't in Sami Zayn's favor. The end of Monday Night Raw saw Jey Uso arrive in the crowd towards the end of a match between Sami Zayn and Jimmy Uso. The distraction allowed Sami Zayn to roll up Jimmy for the win. After the match, Jey Uso appeared conflicted, staring down his brother and clutching him by the shirt before exiting the ring and meeting Sami Zayn. He initially told Zayn that he trusted him and the two hugged. However, it was a swerve as Jay super kicked Sami Zayn and threw him back into the ring where Solo Sokoa joined in and the three beat down Sami. Cody Rhodes then came out for the save as the show ended. WWE has also officially confirmed their next event in Saudi Arabia. During Raw, a commercial aired for WWE King and Queen of the Ring, which will take place on May 27th in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia at the Jeddah Superdome. The event will take place just one day prior to AEW's next pay-per-view, Double or Nothing, on May 28th. The last King of the Ring tournament was held at Crown Jewel back in October of 2021. On that show, Xavier Woods defeated Finn Balor to win the tournament. The first ever Queen of the Ring tournament was also held with Zelina Vega defeating Dewdrop, Piper Niven, to become the first Queen of the Ring. WWE last visited Saudi Arabia on November 5th, holding the 2022 Crown Jewel event. The main event had Roman Reigns defeating Logan Paul to retain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. That is your quick episode of the latest. As always, do not forget to subscribe to F4W online for more videos just like this one.